Welcome back to another video of my Log Yogs Box Let's Play. Wow, that was hard to get out. Um, this is going to be episode 9. It looks like the minimap has fixed itself back up. My channel has just reached 15 subscribers. Actually, I think it's probably slightly higher than that, and it'll be even higher, I'm hoping, by the time this video actually airs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a bit of a special video here. This is going to be a half hour special and I'm hoping that in that half hour I can achieve something really good as a bit of a I guess as a bit of a thank you to everyone who's been who's been watching so if anyone has any suggestions particularly any of my subscribers you know let me know what you'd like to see and I will I will make it happen that's yeah, I guess that's that's my promise. So, since the last video, you'll notice that single player commands didn't come up. I haven't actually seen much of a need to have single player commands the way I've been playing, so I haven't got it installed because today I just upgraded my Yogbox version to the latest version, which I believe is 1.1.1 which updated Millionaire, updated uh, Towers of Kingdoms and did a couple of other little things as well. Shouldn't make too much difference to how things look or how things play but it will be you know, an improvement. Okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build myself a house. So what I want to do, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. we'll add the ninth one on the second, 1, 2, actually 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops, got one too far. What I'm looking to do here is I'm looking to make a nine by nine. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth one will be just there. Just got to take one more row out. I know when I first started to build my little my little underground place to hide away from the things that go bump in the night I said you know it's, it's going to be pretty temporary it's not going to be you know where I'm going to look to try and stay and so this is now me making sure that's the case I'm not actually sure if I'm going to have enough cobble I know I've got plenty of cobble lots more stacks so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come in here and I'll cook some up because I want to have some smooth stone just to make things a little bit different. I can hear a dolphin as well. Okay, so the other thing that the Yogg Box upgrade has done is it's it's upgraded Millionaire, it's upgraded Tala Kingdoms, it's also updated the uh, Uh, well, that's a really bad way of explaining it. It's updated the Mo Creatures mod. So now that the Mo Creatures mod's been updated, it's added a few extra animals and I believe it's fixed some bugs as well. I might well, just quickly check is just make sure that I've got the mod settings right. Yep, so despawn vanilla mobs. That's really important because if you don't have that set to know your new animal farms and things that you set up just won't work. And that's a pretty important part of you know I guess the the new Minecraft. Beautiful, so find the center. It's you. Just making some space for a door. was not what that was supposed to do. 
Feeling now one, two, three. Looking like needing twelve. Hopefully I'll somewhere on the way. Nine. A nine's at least a start. I've got thirty two wood, that's definitely not gonna be enough. Um, I'm gonna go cut some trees down and come back. I'm planning on just putting a pretty well, it's gonna be a pretty simple wooden roof on. No, I don't do that, that's better. Yeah, so because I've had to go back to vanilla Minecraft and then come back because of the changes, it's messed up all the achievements, so I'm not even gonna worry about achievements. So I've kind of made a bit of a decision about what I'm going to do. My aim is going to be to try and get a diamond pick and then get some obsidian and then go to the nether and then make a brewing stand and make some potions. I have a wonderful supply, wonderful, bountiful supply of sugarcane so I'll probably just stick with making potions of speed and things like that that are really easy to make. Hmm. It's not going to work for me. That's better. Now where's my smooth stone? Beautiful. I just want to, I guess, mix things up a little bit, make it look a bit, a bit different. So now, make a little temporary staircase up the inside. I'll get that dirt back later. Okay, so that's the corners of my house. Now I need blocks of wood lots and lots of blocks of wood because this is a surprisingly large amount of roof on this building so I'm gonna oh, obviously can't put the block where I'm standing Sorry that things are just a tiny little bit laggy. Just got some stuff going on on my computer in the background at the moment that's unfortunately causing me some issues. Hopefully it won't be too bad. So now, I guess the thing that kind of is key to the way this house is designed is that you have a bit of a step in. and each level of the roof goes up one step higher so you end up with quite a nice sort of stepped roof what I'm just going to do quickly just while I seem to be having a bit of lag is I'll just whack the graphics to fast and I'll just options just put the render distance to normal yeah that'll, that'll give a huge improvement to the performance for a little while while it's lagging and then once I've finished putting the roof on this house I will go and fix fix that lag didn't really think that through because I could have just done the same thing from the other side. So if everything goes well here what we'll end up with is enough of a walkway in the roof
it will end up with enough of a walkway, enough space in the roof, so I can have like a little bit of an attic. Not totally sure if it's going to work or not, but we'll certainly see how it goes and see what happens. So then, two little torches on top. And then just jump down. Okay, you just need to, I guess, take a hear a shark. Don't want to mess with you too much, just take a bit of a look back. We'll go over and see how it goes. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, bad shark. <coughs> mm, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, definitely bad shark. Just kill you both. Yeah, that looks very close to how I wanted it to look, so just gotta fix this side not looking the way it should. I don't think beautiful is the right word for it, but it is definitely looking in the vicinity of what I would like it to look like. Just add a bit of a extension of this platform that comes out this way, so it makes it easier to get across. Okay, now I just need to I'll make this floor consistent. Get rid of this stone. Just gonna try and replace the whole floor with planks. Shovel that out. A few more planks. And then what I'll do is I will add probably in one of the corners. Just a little bit of uh, maybe like a ladder and a trapdoor or something like that to help me to help me get down. Just have to see how things go. Guess see how they play out. Um, I had the distinct impression I had more wood than this. Never mind, I don't really want this tree to be right here anyway. Perfect. I'm going to have to replant some of these trees soon. But for right now, it will do exactly what I want by just getting out of my way. Excellent. Now I'm going to replace these windows here with big long glass windows plenty of room, plenty of space to see yeah it's going to be brilliant okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly pause this video here I'll be back in a second okay I'm back again didn't even notice I was gone except for the fact that you've now got that little loading screen thing that's just popped up Okay, so what I've just done now is I've put the graphics back to the way they were. Just gonna let some chunks load in. But I've gone and had a stern talking with my computer and I've sorted out my lag issue. Stupid spider, don't you know you can't swim? Come on. Don't drown. Don't be a dumbass. Come on. 
sacrifice myself to make it a clean kill. I don't know. The things you do. Actually. That reminds me I've got enough string now and plenty of sticks that I can make a fishing rod. But before I do that, I am hungry. Let's have another little look at my place. Nice. kind of place you could be happy to call home. At least I think so. Ooh, what's this look I got to say? I am gravely lost. I survived an attack. Many of our villages burned down. There are survivors left. Hurry and rescue them. That would be super fantastic if only he told me where they were. So instead, he's useless. He's not helpful. And... I'm just going to keep doing my thing and see what happens. What are you? A lion. What the hell is a lion doing there? What happens if I shoot him in the ass with an arrow? Oh, I can't. Yeah, never mind. I see you. Stupid short arms. Haha, -ha, cop that. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, yes, back to where I was. Time to sell some stuff. Make some good money off that. Need to string to make a fishing rod. So lots of gunpowder. Got the feeling I've got more swords than I actually need, so I'll get rid of some of those. Um, do you buy rotten flesh? Yes, you do. What about spider eyes? Done it. Uh, now I probably want some of those. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty all right now. What did I want to buy? Um, Arrows. Have I made any arrows yet? Not sure. I'm going to try and stick with my rules. Because I was playing this game recently on my laptop. And I found that if I... You know, use... The full features of the Tower of Kingdoms mod. It's... Well, it's actually... You, know, you, you can really abuse the game. Because the fact that I've got... 3,800 gold now means I could just go and buy myself a diamond pick and then after buying that diamond pick I can just you know start mining in Sydney and you don't even have to worry about you know, the hard effort of the mining part of Minecraft so you know that's not something I would normally do Ooh. hey doesn't that look nicer It's almost starting to look homely now. I'll throw a block of dirt in there. What have we got there? Piece, couple of pieces of cobble. Let's try and get some symmetry about it. Not looking too bad now. I do need to make some more glass though, so let's put it in here. Nothing. So yeah, sorry, as I was saying, I find that it's it's a little bit like abusing the game to to you know just dive straight into buying gold items and it kinda takes a lot of the challenge out of the game. But, seeing as, you know, I'm, I'm still going to enjoy myself because there's still plenty of challenge to do in the nether and things like that. So, if you, my subscribers, you know, just let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you'd like to see some more of the features of the, the you know, the Tales of Kingdom mod. If you'd like to see me just jump straight into buying a diamond pick and travel into the nether, you know, let me know. If that's what you want, that's what I'll give you. 
and we'll have at it and we'll go for it. Um, I think these torches are a little bit high, they're not, this isn't growing as fast as I think it should. Coal is cheap, so I'll put some more up. I think in my normal design, I would have had that one block lower. Yeah, definitely would have had it one block lower. Um, got plenty of cobblestone. So I th think the current design I have is actually holding up how quickly my crops grow. So I don't want to have my crops growing slower than they should. And one more. Perfect. Ooh. Don't jump. Don't jump. Uh, as I was starting to say, don't jump on your crops, you fool. Torches. Four torches. Do the same thing here. Come on. One thing that I don't really like about the the sorting mod is that as soon as you pick something up, it puts it up the top of your inventory rather than putting it down the bottom. In your in your hand, particularly when you're used to things, you know, straight away automatically going into your hand, it makes it a pain because it means you've got to constantly get something and then put it down here for it to keep going like that. Come on. there so post some comments let me know let me know if you'd like to see this video take advantage of the full Tower Kingdoms mod and jump straight into buying things that are expensive and taking advantage of them if you'd prefer to see things done I guess the way that I'm doing them now which is make sure I've set myself up to be able to craft something before I go and do it then you know, post if you'd like to see that as well, just let me know. Whatever you'd like to see, let me know, and I'll try and do my best to do that. Hopefully now these things are going to grow a little bit... Well, hopefully they'll grow more than just a little bit quicker. Hopefully they'll grow a lot quicker. Um... Make this fishing pole before I forget. So I can catch myself some fish. And then I'll make five's a good number of torches. The whole inventory sorting thing I do like. It's just such a pain that you have to go through the process of moving things around yourself before you can use them. Okay. Plenty, plenty, plenty. I'm not sure whether it's a coincidence or not, but already I seem to have my crops growing faster. So, there is definitely sufficient light now. I'm only getting one seed at a time though, which is really quite annoying. Plenty of wheat then our 13 wheat. Come on, three seeds, brilliant. And I punched the wrong one. For those of you who've been watching my channel, you know that I'm doing a solar survival map at the moment. And it, it's 
because it's quite good to you know, have some sort of different challenges every now and then, things that just mix it up a little bit. I think the thing that I probably like the most about that map is the fact that you are sort of challenging yourself in different ways than you do when you're doing a normal. The survival part is, is really, you know, not getting killed is quite easy. The hard part is being able to, you know, get yourself enough food and get the resources you really need to be able to, to sort of thrive and get anywhere in the game. Beautiful. That's just enough now that I've put in to make sure that I don't end up with spiders coming through. So yeah, I'm just making sure that by putting one of these every two, it means there's no spiders or anything like that that can get in. Now, we put a floor just here. We have one, two, three in some areas. Excellent. That's brilliant. I was hoping that what I would end up with here is enough room to have a little attic. And it looks like I'll have just that once I build it in a bit, so back over here get some more wood. Not sure how much wood I'm going to need, I think I'm going to probably need a fair bit because I'm also going to have to build ladders. And after I build the ladders I'll have to build... Uh, some trapdoors, a few other different things like that. So, where's that torch? I'll pick that torch back up and plonk it back on that spot there. Yeah, 50 wood, that's definitely going to be plenty. I love the tree capacitor mod. Tree catapitator? Wow. Whatever the name of the mod is, I love it. It's fantastic. You know, you could almost call it cheating, because it really does take the element of time out. So, you know, the fact that it's not giving you anything for free, it's still making you work for it. It's just making it a bit quicker. I think that's brilliant. Okay, so I've decided now that what I'm going to do is build a three block there, cut that out, and that's going to be my entrance to my attic. Hmm. That's going to need some fixing, that's okay. It's just going to ever so slightly make my house look different on this side. But that's okay. Um, how are we going to do this? What I'm going to do is just extend the back of the house just a tiny bit in this direction. And that will allow me... That'll allow me to have just a little bit more space up here in the roof so that I can actually climb up. So, there we go. Put that back there, that way I can climb straight up. And now I just need to... ...pull this bit of roof in without falling down the hole. wood, turns out I didn't. Okay, so here we have an attic. I'm just gonna put a light in the attic because every attic needs a little bit of light. Beautiful. So what do I need now? Trapdoor. I 
think a trapdoor is six. Yep, perfect. I'm gonna need two of those anyway. Then I'm gonna need some ladders. One ladder. <sighs> what a waste. Okay. At least now we've got two. Sorry, two units of ladders, so four ladders. Now, I need to put the trapdoor in this way. So it opens up like that. Perfect. Now take my ladder. One there, one there. Excellent. And I'm up in the attic. Um, probably won't chop that out. I'll just put a torch there. So it stays nice and bright. And then I will come over here. Because it's not very scenic at the moment. Throw some of that there. All I have to do now is just dig this hole down and work out where it goes. While I'm doing that I'll put my bit there. Um, how do we do this? We have the point that the trapdoor's on, that one, that one. So this has to be ground level. Let's see where we are. Ah, uh, look at that. Wouldn't you know, like a bought one. And close the trap door. And we're in. What do I do with my workbench? Sweet. Workbench down. Bit more wood. Because every house needs at least one door. So I mean, when I set out the aim of this little episode that I'm doing here was to be a bit of a subscriber special and it, I mean, it hasn't been anything super flash or super exciting but for my subscribers who've been saying you know please make more we want to watch for more you know I, I really appreciate that so you know if you guys like seeing these longer episodes and you like seeing really what is just a little bit more just let me know and then I will endeavour to see if I can make some more like this so what we have now is we have our nice house up there haven't quite got the windows finished that's okay I'll, I'll finish the windows for, for next time but certainly at the moment we've got a nice safe house to sleep in we've got a cozy little attic up here that I'm going to use to store stuff I guess so thanks very much everyone just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me do more if you'd like to see anything else the next video I post is going to be another half hour special sort of video that's going to be me playing the solar challenge again so thanks very much for watching everyone stay tuned